News channels like this one, or this one, or this one, are making over $10,000 a month without having to show their face or use their own voices. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you step-by-step -step on how to use the latest AI technology and easy-to-use tools, so that way you can create your own news channel as well. And if you want special discounts on some of the tools that I'm using in this video, you can check the links in the description. That would also greatly support the channel. So first thing that we wanna do is to do some market research, see what it is that is succeeding in the space. So I found this channel called AI News, and we could see here every few days they're posting a new video and they're getting some really decent views. We could see from the about section, they have over 2 million views. They've been around for about a year now and they're just creating AI news using an AI voiceover. So I just wanna see the most popular, kind of see what there is that they're doing. And this is kind of the aesthetic of their thumbnails. We could go to another channel. I found another channel. This one's called Crypto Hype Daily News. This one's just giving you daily news about the Shiba Inu coin. And then if we go to this channel, Yahoo Finance, we could see that they are producing content about just really kind of anything related to finance. They're creating a lot of videos, multiple videos a day. See some of their most popular videos. We've got Warren Buffett, Charlie Munger, Ray Dalio. And these could be separate dedicated channels because now we see on Yahoo Finance that these are very popular topics. Warren Buffett, Charlie Munger, these are people that people want information on. Elon Musk is another person that there are dedicated channels just talking about Elon Musk. So whatever type of news channel you want to create, the possibilities are really endless here. And I'm going to be showing you how to be able to create them very, very easily. So after we've done our market research, we want to go to news.google.com. And this is going to provide us all of the latest news articles that are coming out online. And we can type in whatever it is that you decide, whatever the niche that you decide to create your news channel on. I'm just going to say article artificial intelligence because this is a trending topic and you can click on this little button for follow that way you'll be able to get the latest news article related to that topic that you searched up and we can see here some of the latest developments if we click on this we'll see all of these different articles coming out from these different channels. We can just go through and we can see Mark Zuckerberg announces Meta's new large language model as the AI race heats up. So let's say we wanted to use this article. Now, one of the things that's kind of annoying about these websites is that it has a lot of extra fluff in it, like ads and links and stuff like that. What we're gonna be doing is actually using a free feature from Google and that is reader mode. So I'll include the prompt that you need to copy in the description, but you just copy this, paste it. This is pulling up the Chrome experimental section. So if you wanted to be able to test out new features from Google Chrome, you just go to this link and it'll take you to this page. And then you can just click on enable for enable reader mode. Now this is the mode that we want to use. So now when I go back to my article, you can see it looks like this. It's kind of messy. It's got some stuff in it. And then if I click on reader mode, now it'll be a lot more simple and I just have the information that I need. I'll go to another article. Let's say this one and we open this and you can see it's got a lot of different stuff on here, some pictures, stuff like that. I don't want this, so I'm just gonna click on the reader mode, which is now enabled, and now we can just get the information that we need, which is a lot less than what it originally showed us. So you can see here, we had all this stuff, and then we enabled the reader mode, and now it is a lot more simple. Next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this information, this whole article, I'm going to copy it. So we're gonna go to ChatGPT and we're going to say create a YouTube video talking about this article and provide commentary throughout. And then we're going to just put a colon, parentheses, paste the article, and then enter. And now ChatGPT is automatically going to provide us a YouTube video script talking about the article. And maybe we want a longer script. Provide a longer script with commentary about the article. Another way that we can get a longer script is just say provide more details. And then the next AI tool that we're gonna be using is called Flicky. So what's great about Flicky is that it will automatically take our text and provide really high quality voiceovers, provide captions and automatic generated B-roll based on what the text is saying. And then if you wanted to translate the text into another language and then add a voiceover in another language, it can do that as well. So imagine being able to create multiple channel languages based on news, providing commentary on the latest stuff that's happening all through the power of AI automatically just like that. 
that. I'm going to be showing you how in just a moment. And if you'd like to play around with Flicky and get a free trial, you can use my link in the description. So when you create your Flicky account, you're going to go to new file in the top right. And we're just going to name this AI News 1, for example, I'm going to do English. And you can see all the different languages that we could do, but I'm going to do English. And then we want to do video for a video. Now I'm going to take this and I'm just going to paste in our script just like that. I did copy paste from ChatGPT, pasting it into Flicky. And as you can see, it's taken our whole script and then it's added automatic voiceover and B-roll. So now we can click and listen to this. Meta, formerly known as Facebook, has recently released its new language model called Llama, which was developed by its fundamental AI research team. Now let's say I wanted to add some more B-roll into here. What I can do is we can just click on this and let's say after this sentence, I want to create a new section. So we're going to delete, copy, delete, press this little plus, paste this in, and here you'll be able to see how cool this is. So we're going to click on this little change image video and we can select the image or video that we want by just typing in here. We could type in let's say Facebook and let's see what comes up and we can see different references to Facebook, social media, stuff like that. And this is coming from all of these different paid subscription B-roll platforms. We can see cover, we can see Pexels, Pixabay. So this is all stuff that you would have to pay for if you were to go out and just try to get this separate, but it's all included in Flicky for you. So instead, what I want to do is I just want it, the AI to automatically read my text and then auto pick the video. Meta, formerly known as Facebook, has recently released its new language model called Llama. And for some reason, it's chosen some odd video here, but that's not a problem. We can see some of the other ones, it did a pretty good job, like this one, it added some AI type thing. This one, it looks like more AI. So maybe you just mis misread what it is that we were putting in the text, but I'm just gonna go here and I'm going to type in Facebook. And then let's say I just want this video. I'm just going to click on that and then it will automatically adjust the video speed based on the text. Meta, formerly known as Facebook, has recently released its new language model. So that's great. And then also if we wanted to change the voice, we could do that as well. So maybe we didn't want Sarah. We wanted a man. We might do Daniel or James. Fleeky helps you create audio and Fleeky helps you create Jason. audio. Jason. Flicky helps Davis. you audio and video content using lifelike AI voices and- Davis sounds pretty good. So what I might do is I might say, I want Davis and then I want all of this to be Davis instead. I don't want Sarah anymore. Meta, formerly known as Facebook, has recently released its new language model called Llama, which was developed by its fundamental AI research team. So Davis sounds pretty good. And then we can go to video settings. If we wanted to change the subtitle font color, we could do that. Let's say we want it to be white and we can change the font to whatever we want as well. So just like that, Flicky has created our video. We can click on export and now we'll be able to export our video and upload it to YouTube. <laughs> The last step in this process is going to be creating a thumbnail. So I'm going to go to AI news again and see what it is. What are some of the more popular videos and what was the aesthetic of the thumbnail? I can see this one. So it's got an image of a face and then on the right, some text. So trying to just keep it simple. Now I like that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to Canva. I'm going to go to create design. We'll type in YouTube thumbnail. And, and the nice thing about Canva is that it is completely free. Now there's a couple different ways that you could do this. You could use Mid Journey. There's another tool that I like to use, which is ArtSmart AI. ArtSmart AI is just a more user-friendly AI image generation tool. Uh, I've been using for a little while now and I enjoy it. So when you log in, you go to the playground and we're gonna generate an AI image. And I'm going to say Mark Zuckerberg as a cyborg. And let's see what comes up here. All right, so we got some Mark Zuckerberg. I'm gonna to go to presets and then, then camera angles. And this is one of my favorite things about ArtSmart is the ability to be able to just create the image based on these pr simple presets. So I want kind of more of a shoulder medium close shot and I clicked on that and then it just pasted that prompt into there. And then I wanna do, let's say hyper realistic. I'm gonna click generate, click generate again. Didn't really like that image. All right, I'm gonna to go to semi-realistic, see if we can get something a little bit different. I like that when I say make Mark Zuckerberg as a cyborg and it's just giving us normal images of Mark Zuckerberg. Like, oh, he's just automatically a cyborg. We don't need to change anything else about him, uh, which might be slightly true. All right, so this is a little bit more cyborg-like. I'm gonna to go to the presets again and see maybe we can get a different type. So presets, I might do let's say digital art. We got medium close up there, I'm just gonna remove that one so we don't get it twice. Let's see if it comes up with something different with all these different presets in place. Okay, I'm gonna say cyborg face instead. 
So let's say that I like this headshot, but I want to modify something. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna click on this little button and this is the imprinting mode. And probably one of the coolest features about Artsmart is that we can just very easily just go like this. So I'm going to paint over his face. We'll just do half a face just like this. And then I'm going to type in here, cyborg mask. And let's see what it comes up with. All right, we got Mark, Mark with the cyborg mask. I'm gonna try a different one. So obviously I can play around with this image a little bit more, but let's just say that I like this image as is. I'm gonna just go here to this little button, download image, I'm going to download that. You can open it, we see we have the image. Then I'm gonna to go to this AI website called remove.bg and we're going to just drop our file into there and it will automatically remove the background from our image. Now I can click download again. Now we have that new image. I'm gonna to go to Canva and then drag that in. Just paste that there, click. Now we have our AI Mark Zuckerberg looking off into the text. We could change the background. I'm gonna to go to elements and then type in here, computer. And we're gonna to go to photos. I'll do more, like, let's say matrix, more of a matrixy vibe, something kind of like this in the background, let's say. Go to elements again, I'll do flare, add a little bit of a background flare to him. Click on this one, make this a little larger. If I wanna change the color of this flare, go to edit image, I'm gonna go down to duotone, right here, see all, and let's say I want this to be blue, for example. Now I've got a blue flare, send to the back. We might do something kind of like that. Just a little flare. You can do one of these, for example. If we wanted something a little bit brighter, go back to Duotone, maybe we make, we make it red. If we wanted to, we could even change the eyes. So now he's got some flare red eyes, laser eyes. We can click here, add a heading. We can change the font, do League Spartan. Seems a pretty good font and then we'll say whatever the, the name of that tool was. We'll say Facebook's AI. Or something along those lines. Obviously, we could play around with this some more just to show you for an example of kind of how you can easily use different AI tools in order to create the thumbnail that you want. And just like that, you've created all the elements that you need in order to start one of your own news channels. If you like this video about using AI tools to start an online business, then definitely check out this next video right here.